today, mate. Is that good? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of weird. I got an echo effect. Um, oh. So, as you can see, no musical instruments, but I got a little story to tell. It's about how I met my good friend Joe over here. A long three months ago, it was a lifetime ago, it feels. And so, I had spent my first week in the campground, and it was absolutely amazing. But I'd always been a little bit afraid, just because the tent I was in had holes in it, the zippers didn't work. And I always thought, you know, maybe someone's just going to, like, walk in and take all my shit. But, you know, I thought, I asked around, everybody's like, nah, everybody's cool around here. That would never happen. So, of course, one night, go out drinking, come back. Notice everything's a little messy, but don't think anything of it. And wake up the next morning to find two of my bags just, like, gone out of my tent. And it wasn't even the good shit. It was just a bag full of random old books, some course notes, and, of course, my passport. <laughs> so I wake up the next morning, or I go through the day and ask around, see if, you know, maybe it was a mistake, maybe, you know, someone just accidentally, randomly, drunkenly ran wandered into my tent. But no one knew anything, so I was like, okay, fuck, my passport's gone. So I went to the police station, made a report, fucking stressing out as hell. But then just came to realize, okay, it's okay. I can get my court snow back. I, ha I had contacts with all my friends, so I can get that back. And... Getting my passport back wouldn't be too bad, just a pain in the ass, but not too bad. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you, Jared. I appreciate it. <laughs> and so it's like at night, had a few drinks, ran into Ryan and Joe, and was telling this story to them, and then they just kind of look at each other, and they're like, wait, wait a second. That sounds kind of familiar. It's, uh, what, who's... Tent are you staying in? It's like uh, I'm staying in Ollie's old tent, and Joe's just like, "Oh, I've got all your shit in my tent." <laughs> I'm like, "You're you're just fucking with me right now, right?" I've been stressing all day. I made a fucking police report, <laughs> and you're telling me you just walked into my tent. And he's like, "Yeah, you know, it's just a tradition. You know, when people leave, we thought it was abandoned. People leave shit behind. It happens." <laughs> You know, it's, it's, but to think that someone would leave everything behind. <laughs> Two backpacks, a laptop, <laughs> everything. <laughs> but no. That's Joe. That, that's just Joe. <laughs> okay. You think Joe, are you on next? With that lovely introduction, let's get Joe up here. Come on, Joe.